Hi guys, James from Measure Square here. Welcome to part 3 of our multifamily series with Measure Square 8. In this video, we will cover unit takeoff and product application. To begin, let's start by tracing our room shapes for our one bed, one bath unit. Left click the draw rectangle button in the top left to highlight an orange, and then begin tracing the rectangular rooms in the unit by aligning the crosshairs with the inside corner of the room and holding down the left mouse button and dragging to the opposite corner. Let off the left mouse button to finish tracing the room. Repeat this operation for the remaining rectangular rooms in the unit. To draw the more complicated room shapes, select the draw button from the top left and left click at the inside corner of the room that adjoins a previously drawn room. Drag the line to the next inside corner of the room and left click again. Continue left clicking at each corner until the last segment remains, then right click to finish drawing the room. Note that when drawing our next room, a series of magenta lines are shown as the room nears completion. This change in color represents Measure Square 8 telling us we can use the Auto Complete feature to draw the rest of the walls highlighted if we right click our mouse. Continue using the Draw tool to complete the remaining rooms on the unit plan. Once the room shapes are drawn, we can use the Elevation tool to trace out any areas where we will not need flooring products, such as tubs, cabinets, kitchen islands, etc. The drawing style will be the same as using the Free Draw tool, and the Auto Complete feature can be used in Elevation mode also. Once our elevations are drawn, we can apply our flooring products by left clicking to highlight them blue from our project item list and hold down the left mouse button to drag and drop the product into our first room. Once the product has been applied to one room, we may left click to apply that same product to other required rooms. To apply linear items to a room, the same drag and drop approach can be used. Just drag towards the middle of a room, and the walls of that room will be highlighted turquoise, indicating that a linear product is about to be placed. If you would like to apply a linear product to just one wall, hover your cursor near that one wall until only that section is highlighted blue, and then place. Once all of our products have been placed in the room, we will drop in our doorways allowing our different products to be notched halfway into them and removing the wall base from both sides of the entryway. To do this, left click the door button in the top left and choose the no leaf option from the pop-up. Click OK. Glide your mouse cursor over a wall section until it's aligned with the doorway and then left click to place your door. Continue this operation as needed for all the standard size doors in this unit. To draw differently sized doors, click the drop down arrow to the right of the door button, then hover over the doorway to be drawn, left click on one side of the door jam, glide your mouse cursor over, and then left click on the other side to complete an over or undersized doorway. Continue this operation as needed for any additional over or undersized doors.
This completes the room takeoff and product application for our standard unit. To speed up the process for the hardwood unit, we may hold down our left mouse button to drag to select all of our previously drawn rooms. We can then use Control C on our keyboard to copy the drawn rooms with their products. Left click the tab for the hardwood unit, then press Control V on the keyboard to begin pasting the previously drawn unit. Line up the red outlined image over the plan and left click to place our copied drawing. Next, we will drag and drop the hardwood floor into the areas with Broadloom. We will also swap out the wall base for the appropriate wood base for the new finishes in these rooms. We can then go through the same set of operations for our two bedroom units. Note, for the open area of the two-bedroom unit, I will draw the patio and a few other rooms outside of the plan so that we can leverage the autocomplete feature to draw the area more quickly like so. Once the area is drawn, I will delete these rooms as they're no longer needed. We can then go through the same method of product application, elevation drawing, and door placement as our previous unit. Make sure to place linear product around the kitchen island on all of the units if you haven't already. Execute the same copy and paste maneuver so the two bedroom unit also has its hardwood version completed as well. Note, an alternate way to replace the Broadloom with hardwood more efficiently involves right-clicking on the Broadloom and choosing Replace. Note, we are choosing the current tab option so as not to remove Broadloom from our standard unit. We can then choose the hardwood product from the drop-down menu and click OK. Click Yes on the pop-up warning us about the cut sheet being lost. Use the same approach to replace the rubber base in the Broadloom rooms. Click OK.
In part 4 of our multifamily series, we will cover unit duplication and estimating by layer for our project.